This is really interesting. Uh, this is from 1524. Uh, it's called the Second Rabbinic Bible. The custom was to name books after the first word of the text. So the first word in Genesis is Breshit. Genesis 1 1 is Breshit bara Elohim et Hashemayim ve Haaretz. So Breshit is the first word um, and it means in the beginning. Okay? Mm-hmm. So this is from 1524. Yeah. What's interesting about this is uh, it's a rabbinic Bible, so we have the text is in the middle section, and then here we have Rashi's commentary, uh-huh. Rashi, uh, and uh, over here we have Ibn Ezra's commentary. So, this, so is, this is a commentary. The, yeah, the commentary. And uh, whether you can notice or not, but this is a different script. This is called Rashi's script. He invented a script. So you not only had to learn all these languages, you had to also understand the different scripts. Always different scripts, them as well. yeah, yeah. Steve, what else do we have here? I mean, these are fascinating uh, documents. And well, uh, this, is, uh, uh, this is from, um, I was told this is from Germany. Now, I'm going to go back just so you can see the beginning of it. Uh, you can see the, these, are, these are old, okay? So here we've got, uh, this is, um, this, again, this is the word Breshit, and you can see that mm-hmm. this is, you know, pretty beat up. Yeah. So if we move it very carefully, <laughs> Uh, here is, and here is the, uh, this is the beginning of the Toledot of, uh, of Noah. Noah. And it says, Ele Toledot Noah, Noah Ish, uh, Sadiq, and so forth. And it's, um, these are Toledot. Now, the interesting, that word Toledot is a very interesting word. Uh, it's from the Hebrew word Yalad, to give birth. It's translated sometimes genealogy, sometimes it's translated um, history. And uh, it's always, actually, the story of the descendants, so the Toledot of Noah is, it's not that much about Noah. In fact, Noah doesn't really say anything in the flood narrative. Uh, un, he doesn't say anything mm-hmm. until, uh, until the incident with Ham later. Yes. Uh, and the first thing that Noah says is a curse, <laughs> amazingly enough. Uh, but uh, the, the word Toledot, uh, Genesis is built around that. It begins with uh, Genesis 1-1, right here, Brace Sheet. Uh, and uh, Genesis 1, 1 through 2, 3 is a kind of a preface or a prologue to the book. And then there are 11 sections. Uh, and each of them begin with the word Toledot. They just begin with the word Toledot. So we've got, uh, here it is, this is the Toledot of Noah. And what follows then is the account of the flood. Mm-hmm. This is, this is a Samaritan Pentateuch. I don't, can you see that Samaritan Pentateuch? Heavy, heavy lifting weights. Okay, so uh, Samaritan Pentateuch, and um, see, this is a different script. Mm-hmm. You can see it. Uh, it's a little more of a cursive. Uh, the Samaritans, the only part of the Old Testament that they accept as, as their scripture is, um, is the Pentateuch. But this is actually in the Samaritan script, and so it's, it's pretty, uh, it's, it's amazing. So let me, let me close this up, okay. and uh, I'm take really good care of these things. And now let's go to, this is a facsimile. This is, um, this is the Leningrad Codex, lovingly known as L. Uh-huh. Uh, the uh, original of this uh, is in, uh, the reason why it's called the Leningrad Codex, it's in the public library in St. Petersburg, in Leningrad, right. okay? It's on the shelf B19A. You can actually go into the public library and find this there. Uh, this is a facsimile okay. of it. Mm-hmm. The, the thing about the um, Leningrad Codex, it is the uh, oldest complete codex. It's from 1009 A.D. But what it says here, I am Ani Shmuel Yaakov Ben Yaakov. I am Samuel, a son of Jacob. And then he says, I, I wrote it and I copied it. And the, the thing about the Leningrad Codex, uh, he, fo- he followed uh, an exemplar of uh, Ben Asher. Ben Asher is the premier uh, Masoret. But this is the oldest complete manuscript, and all scholarly Hebrew Bibles are based on the Leningrad Codex. Wow. wow. Well, Steve, what, what are the oldest documents that we have here? Okay, how about uh, going from, we, here we have 11th century, 10th century, these are both A.D. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got something here from the 2nd century B.C. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, it's just a little fragment, and it's Dead Sea Scrolls, and uh, it is the from Cave 6. So let's, let's sit down and take a look at okay. this. And this is from um, Cave 6 at Qumran. 
You said cave six. Cave six. All the Qumran manuscripts are designated by the cave in which they're found. The most famous manuscript is 1Q Isaiah A. Uh, that means it was found in the uh, first cave. This is from cave six. Hmm. Uh, and uh, there's not a lot of Genesis uh, in the Dead Sea Scrolls. The only book that's not represented at all in the biblical material is Esther. Th these are actually different. Uh, oh, I these, see. these are okay. different uh, uh, texts. Mm -hmm. um, and the interesting thing about this, this one I'm showing you right here, uh, is that it is uh, it's not written in the regular Dead Sea Scroll script. For for whatever reason, they wrote it in uh, a Paleo Hebrew type script. So it's actually called 6Q Paleo-Hebrew Genesis. Uh, and so the Q stands for Qumran. But this is a section, as I said, there's not much of Genesis, but it turns out that this section here comes from, uh, comes from the flood narrative. And uh, so, yeah, we can actually see this, but it's, uh, it's giving the details of the, of the size of the ark and various different things like that. Well, and and, and um, this is 2nd century B.C., 2nd century B.C., and the text is virtually identical in these, in this 10th century uh, and 11th century manuscripts. Of, so 1,200 years later, we have the same mm -hmm. text. It's absolutely, it's, it just shows the reliability and how accurately it was, it was copied yeah. from 2nd century BC to, uh, yeah. to 11th century AD. Yeah. Mm -hmm.